Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to take this car and learn how to give it a beautiful reflection. If you'd like to follow along with the same file I'll be using, I'll leave a download link in the video description. To make a reflection in Affinity Designer, the first thing we need to do is select the object that we want to make a reflection of. Then we need to duplicate the object by pressing Command or Control J. We'll then flip this duplicate object by pressing Flip Vertical up here at the top. Then we'll reposition the duplicate object so it aligns with the bottom of the original object. Now we're going to use the Transparency tool. You can find the Transparency tool over here, or you can use the shortcut Y. With the Transparency tool out, we're going to click and drag from the top of this object down to the bottom. If you'd like to make a perfectly straight line, you can hold down Shift. You can see that our duplicate car is now fading away. I think the reflection would look better though if the top part of this car wasn't so visible. To change this, we're going to click on the black color stop. Then in the color panel, we can lower its opacity. I'm also going to increase the opacity of the other color stop, so I'll click on it down here and then increase its opacity. We now have a beautiful reflection of the car going from 30% opacity down to 10% opacity. If you'd like to change how quickly this transition takes place, you can click and drag on this handle in the center. And if later on while you're editing your document, you decide you want to change the opacity of the reflection, all you need to do is make sure you have that layer selected and you have the transparency tool out and then you can click on either one of these color stops and continue to change their opacity. You now have all the skills you need to make beautiful reflections inside Affinity Designer.